Hello. And welcome to Takume, the dreaming daughter. If Takume is not the way you pronounce it, I apologize. I am ignorant in these matters, as I have proven many a time. Anyways, this is a somewhat short, I think. I said short, I don't remember how long, but um, point and click adventure, but it's got that nice pixely style I like. Not as pixely as uh, The Last Door, but so pixely enough. So let's see what it holds for us. Okay, do I have an inventory or anything? Something is wrong here. Takume? Sister? Well, good thing they look different. <laughs> I can see through the trees. Um, so far all I'm doing is going right. Go high! How are you? Welcome. Who are you? A spirit who has lived among your kind for far too long. Oh, I get to choose. Why do you live here in the forest? That's what I just said. The forest is a good friend. I feel welcome here. Okay, well that's good for you. I'm gonna find my sister. Bye. Can I go up this way? No, it's just right. Right, right, more. Hi again. Are, are you the spirit I talked to earlier? How can you be here? I move differently through time and space. I'm a spirit after all. Why don't you just come along and keep me company then? I very much like to do that, but I can't. Am I still going in the right direction? Yes. You have to venture deep into the woods, past the swamp, and through the wall of thorns. There will be a clearing. That's where my sister went? That is where you must go. That's not what I asked, but thank you. Hi, Trapper. How are you? Um, excuse me. Hello? What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Maybe you can help me. I'm not really interested in what he's doing, because I already know what he's doing. He's trapping things. Maybe you can help me. My name is Takume. I'm looking for my sister. I haven't seen anything. I try to find and catch animals, not people. I understand. Hmm. And what are you doing there? So I asked the question anyway. What does it look like? I'm trying to set up a trap. Uh, why? I'm a trapper. This is what I do for a living. What are you trying to catch? Not what, who. I'm trying to catch the Kekagune. I probably butchered that, but is that the spirit that I've been seeing? Hmm. Okay, good for you. I attack him again? What now? The Kekagune. What does it look like? Oh, it's a small animal, furry, with long hair all over. Why? I just forgot. Fruits. I got a fruit. There's someone inside. Come out, you. Show yourself. Uh. Let's see if this Kekaguen. Kekagak. Kekukekin. I'll, I'll go with Kekagune. Like, likes nas Nashi. Not Nashi? The fruit? Is that what that is? Nashi's the fruit. Hello, Cousin It. How are you? Shoo! No, I didn't want it. That is not what I wanted to do. Oh, you got your damn thing. It worked. What will you do with it now? Kill it, skin it, and eat most of it, of course. What? No, it's just a tiny little doggy animal. This is what I always do with the animals I hunt. What did you expect me to do with it? Raise it as a pet? I... But if I had known you would kill it, I would have never helped you. Too late for that now. Can you at least help me find my sister now? Mm -hmm. No, sorry. As I said, I only hunt animals. 
But here, you can have this stone I found. I got a rock in exchange for a furry animal. This is very heavy for being such a small thing. I have work to do now. Thank you for your help. Farewell. Oh, fuck. Kikagune, I'm sorry. And I am. Can I... Will you please let the Kikagune free again? No. God damn it. No, you don't have one. You put it down. There's nothing here anymore. The sound doing that clicking thing. That's kind of odd. Is this the swamp the spirit mentioned? Hey, over here! It's a trap. I'm gonna die. My name is Emma Ferrizicozo. Thank you for the name. Oh, hello, I'm Tekakumi. Wow, te I can't even say her name now. Takumi. I'm stuck in this mud. Can't get out. Can you help me? Uh, yeah, I'm not very strong, but I'll try. A bit more. Hey, yes, that's it. Oh, hey. Thank you. You have no idea how long I've been stuck in there. You're welcome. Finally, now I can make it, make the rain fall again. You can make it rain? You can do that? Yes, after all, that is my purpose here. Here, let me show you. Uh, thank you. That's nice and all, but I'm trying to find my sister. Can you make it stop now? Thank you. I really appreciate that. Witch! It's like a mirror. I never liked looking at myself in the mirror. The longer I look at it, the more uncomfortable it gets. While you were here, did you maybe see my sister passing by? I am sorry. No. You were the first person coming this way in a very long time. Oh, okay. But I have something for you. Here, take this. Shard of glass. Whenever you feel lonely, look at it. You will see a friendly face. The thank you. You're weird. I'm gonna walk away now. Hello? What? Well, who are you? I'm a friend. You can call me Volant. Um, what are you doing here? I'm here for you. For me? What do you mean? I want to stop you from making a big mistake. Well, I already made one. Where were you ten minutes earlier? And what mistake is that? Do not go any further, Takumi. Why? And hey, how do you know my name? I know many things. Things about you, things about this place, and most of all, I know this, all there is for you beyond this wall is pain. But I need to go on, I need to find my sister. Believe me, you do not. She is fine. Do not go any further, I urge you. But going through this wall and beyond will hurt you more than anything has ever hurt you. And the hurt will never go away. You would regret it for the rest of your life. I don't know. I can't just abandon her, can I? Think about yourself for a minute. Think about the worst pain you could imagine. And then take it times ten. It will hurt too much. You will fall. And you will scream for God's mercy. But there won't be any mercy for you. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? My sister got to find... The stone and shard. They're pulsing. I made it through. Hey, sis. Hello, Takumi. Rario? Raroyo. Rauya. Wow, these names. Sister. I've been waiting for you to come. Finally, I found you. I've missed you dreadfully. I've been waiting for so long. Waiting. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. Rario? I needed you. You weren't there. But what happened? Don't pretend you know what happened to me. To us. I... 
You wouldn't be here if you didn't. Don't you carry the gift of guilt? Haven't you traveled on the road of reflection and followed the path of pain? The stone, the shard, the thorns, I... Yes, I remember what they did to us. But you pushed me away after that. It's not I who left, but you. You left me here in the dark. I... Here for you now? I'm so sorry, I just... I just couldn't bear it. The hurt was too much. I couldn't live with it. So you tried to push it away. You forced yourself to forget about what happened, about me. And for a while it was fine for you. But now, now you come. Now you know that you can't forever push away and forget what's part of you. Yes, you're part of me. And the void inside me it grew each day, it grew and grew until, without you, I'm not complete. I need to be whole again. You were lost, we both were, in a horrible night that threw us off balance. Without balance, we fell apart. To find balance, we must understand our feelings. To understand our feelings, we must face them, not run away from them. I'm not. That's why I keep coming after you. I... I lost myself and you. I was so hurt and confused. It all fell apart. I want us to be as we were before. How... How can I get back to who I was? You don't. I... I don't understand. What happened changed you. It changed me. It changed us. Forever. There's no going back. But how can I go on? Except that this is part of your life. The fear. The pain. The darkness. But that's no life to live. It's a constant hell. Not necessarily. If you don't let it define you, these feelings you have, they're valid. But they aren't everything you are. There is so much more. Together we can be so much more if we share our suffering. We can help each other and others. We can prevent it from happening again. If tears flow, let them. And this time, tears are our fuel. Leave the darkness. Choose to live in the sun, Takume. I, I'm not sure if I can do that. I don't think I'm strong enough. You've come this far. Don't give up now. It's okay. I'm here. We can make it with love and trust. Mario, how can you trust me ever again after what I did? All I see is the tower of my mistakes, and now it comes crashing down on me, and I'm reeling. Takume, we're not yet. We're more than just sisters. We need each other. Raria, I'm sorry. I was broken, and I made you suffer for it. I hope you can forgive me. I think, I think you're right. Together as a whole, as one, we will make it through this. Takume, Raria. Um, are they gonna, like, merge into each other? Because that'd be really weird. Okay. I mean... What? Okay, that was less of a point and click and more of a just click. <laughs> it didn't really did point at anything. Uh, I, it's still a point and click, but it's not much of an adventure game. Definitely had some good story in it. Um, some good character building. But yeah, I think this is more of a demo or proof of concept because as you can tell, it wasn't very long. We, we got something out of it. It was quite emotional at the end there. And you didn't really understand who they were because we don't know about this world. It's completely alien to us. So we can't really jump into the story without knowing what characters are and what... it's. I mean, it sounded like they were different species altogether than human. But maybe that's for the sequel or another game continuing on in this world. Anyways, 
Hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like and a comment down below would be greatly appreciated. And this has been Boy Lag, signing off. <laughs>